Dang it. What's up, YouTube? We're uh, doing YouTube stuff here in the background as we start a weird Friday night stream. So that's, that's why things are all wonky. I just woke up from a nap and we're making things happen. I'm trying to figure out what I did in this video. Let's uh, find out. That was this video right here. I wanted to refrain from referring to your video, Doolin, because your video didn't do shit for me. <laughs> to counter everything I did not. Well, you didn't have I did not cue that up there, Doolin. I just clicked on a button. Watch, which was actually in the wrong. I bought the okay. Red Star for it, thinking. Um. Sure, and I just got. Crazy. I think this was my cranky stream. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> what was I doing? Scary. The, we did defense up. For anybody else at all. And it looks like we did. Try to take. Oh no, we did Crucible. We were doing Crucible. What else? Must have been War. Crucible and War. Oh, this is a cranky Crucible and War. <clears throat> I did not plan that, Doolo. I literally just clicked on the time bar and that's what it said. Sorry. Okay. Uh, cranky Crucible and... Um, what's a... What's a play on words I could put with war, with war? Cranky Crucible and whatever war or something. What's up, Tajian? Hey, I just watched you guys sit through mobile doing this shit. I know you don't care. I know you don't care, so I'm gonna do it too. I just, I, I don't have enough time to stream and make YouTube content. I've now got to combine them. Not if I'm gonna be spending two hours a day at the DMV. I could have picked any random time uh, that uh, that tie line and been talking shit to Duel. Probably, yeah, probably. Uh, Cranky Crucible and um, what's whatever we'll play it <clears throat> and a uh, because I wasn't. Yeah, wonky war is what I was thinking, but I think in the previous video I used the word wonky. Can't, I can't move this, I can't tell. That's too loud. Holy cow, that's way too loud. So, I'm thinking, um... Because I remember, remember I started, this was the stream where I started out really cranky and I wasn't even going to play Marvel Strike Force, and by the end of it, Chad had cheered me up so much, we went and did war attacks. Uh, Cranky Crucible and, oh fuck it, just Cranky Crucible and War, who cares? I'm putting way too much thought into this for the 300 people that are going to view it. This was recorded on the 20th. And then, oh, I need to make a thumbnail. Oh, you guys are getting the full treatment today. We're going to do thumbnail making as well. Don't worry, we will get to uh, Marvel Strike Force. So I just woke up and mobile says there's diamonds and red stars everywhere and that's something useful, right? No. Nope. Okay, somebody pick a character. Any character in Marvel Strike Force. I'll put it on the screen. I don't care. Are we getting other content than recap and recycled streams? Yes, gnomes, you will be getting some other content. Why the fuck you think I'm growing my hair out so much, man? Bullseye, you fucker, gnomes. Okay, bullseye it is. <clears throat> uh, first do it with a request. Gnomes gets a bullseye. Uh, whoops, that's the wrong. That's the wrong. That's the wrong. Envoy clip art. Do I have a bullseye? Oh, we got a bunch of bullseyes. Uh... What's this one? This one looks like he's doing a dab almost. Or, or maybe I could do this weird one. He looks kind of gorilla like he's jumping through the air. We'll try both of them. We'll see which one looks better. So there's this one. Holy cow, that looks really weird. Oh, it looks like he's doing a foot race. That's kind of weird. Uh, let's change this to white with extra white like that to match bullseye's colors. We could probably change it to that arm pad looking thing. We're gonna go there. We need to change the position to the front. <clears throat> Look at my DMs when I get a second. There's nothing in my DMs right now. Uh, 
I've been sending you pictures of Karen Page as a vampire and you didn't even hardly send anything back. Oh, it's sending? What are you crank starting Discord right now? Work has a shit connection. Okay, this is a weird uh, thing, isn't it? Hold on, let's zoom out so I can the whole thing. But weird thing. Let's do, we're gonna rotate this to mad. This is a trick I, I picked up from Tana. Um, uh, okay, so his body hides the dividing line. And so then it's just a matter of getting this, this thing the right size. There we go. Like that. Actually, we can make that smaller, I think. This way, and because it's too far out of the scene, I need to get this way. Oh, and then I lose it on that? That's a really weird angle to do that one. Oh well, screw it. I could probably put in a different gradient, but I don't want to work that hard. Uh, let's make it more transparent. That'll make the gradient show up better. That. That. Boy, that didn't really hide it very well, does it? Let's make a darker color of gray. There. That looks like shit no matter which way I cut it. Maybe it's a crappy picture of Bullseye. Let's try the other one right here. And we can get a different angle on the gradient. Okay, your thing just came through. It's, uh... Oh, wow, I'm, I'm glad you... You gotta warn me, Doolum. I, I was just about... Just, just about blew that up on screen. <laughs> just about blew that up on screen, buddy. <laughs> so thank you, thank you for um. Okay. Okay. Wow, those look amazing. Those look amazing. Yeah, uh, I'm real excited for that. I, uh, I I'm totally, I, I'm really happy with the um, the last minute changes that Matt and the team did as well. Uh, you know, I'm I'm super happy about that. So, okay, if we go here and then put him up to there, just get the tip of his head touching the top. Whoops, I screwed up. Oh. Right. Okay, there's that. Where'd my gradient go? Did I accidentally delete it? Is it in here someplace hidden? No, I, I must have deleted it. It'd be under layers. Let's go. Let's layer. Uh, yeah, I deleted the gradient. Okay, well, here we'll add this gradient then. Let's go right there to. Gradient line. We want as much of that gradient to be seen as possible that and then we'll match it with some colors of bullseye right we'll go with the dark to a light tan and then we got to change how's that <clears throat> that's better now we need to change these colors bullseye didn't give me a lot of colors man he's black and white and some of that blue action in there there is a little bit of blue on his suit Let's see if we can capture some of the blue on his suit. Go with that. There. And then the words. Those are going to be, uh, let's just make those white. Oops. How did I get off of that? Go here. Why is this? Okay, I'm not highlighting the right thing. Canvas so finicky. All right, we're going to make this. That's the same color gray. Oh, I'm on the wrong thing. There. Okay. There. That's it. That's half ass, but this is this was a shit stream anyway. Uh, I was cranky in a bad mood. I almost don't even want to share the stream. The only reason I'm putting it down is because you guys made me happy. So we're gonna go with that. We're gonna do that one. You better love it, gnomes. You're the one pick bullseye. All right. Uh, we need to go save that as something, right? 
pictures, finished thumbnails, MSF, and we're gonna replace, we'll replace Echo, cause Echo is all black and white as well. All right, let's upload that one. I need to figure out a better way to make those things. <clears throat> it's a Friday night stream, Stocky. We're gonna do defense up here pretty soon. Get some content creators on the horn here, hopefully. Doom's showing me pictures of stuff I can't even talk to you guys about, getting me all excited for stuff that's under NDA. And I, did you guys see that? Did you guys see Mobile was putting an ad break every minute in his video? He hasn't told me what's up with that. I gotta contact Goofy and find out why they're doing that. There's something going on. And if that's a thing, I need to start doing it too. Cause you know me, I copy everybody. Uh, there was definitely an inappropriate language in that one. I, I was in a very bad mood. I was dropping F-bombs quite a bit. And we'll add, whoops, we need to add, add an end scene. Let's go here. Go, ding. And there, let's make it public. Who cares? Crucible, Cranky Crucible and War. Yeah, that's not my best work, but as they say, done is better than perfect. <clears throat> I just had a 20 minute video about countering Black Knight. My ass is about to put 15 ads on it. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what's going on, but. Mobile's no dummy. If they're if they're putting ads in every minute, there's a reason for it, and I want to know. I want to know why. I'm very curious about that. Hey, look at that! My Black Knight video did pretty good. That's 1,638 views on a defense up video. That's fantastic for me. I don't normally get a fraction of those views. Yeah, if Boomer knows, I'll just copy it. Right. Okay, uh, and then there's this video, which I've got to fix. Let's see. Four minutes and 20 seconds is usually when I cut into it. Where is it? Um, there it is. Oh, that's not at the four minute mark. I must have done something different there. I don't need to listen to know how to edit my videos. I've watched myself and edited myself so often I know where to cut things by looking at the sound bar at the bottom. This one I might need to though. This one looks a little weird. Let's, let's find out. Let's find out where I'm at on this one. Into it, and that's because of you guys and I appreciate that. So thanks everybody. Okay. And then I think this is where I'm gonna make the cut and this other stuff should be stuff that wasn't supposed to be said. I'm glad to hear that, that you're doing better. Well, I mean, when you started like negative four. Okay, so we'll get rid of that piece. And where's my fade transition? And I think that's it, because we didn't really do anything else, right? Let's look at the bar and see if it looks like no. Played the game and discussed things. All right, uh, I do need to know what this video is about, though, if I'm going to put it in the title. Attack, so we're going to do that. Attack anyways. What's up, Rolf Kieran? Looks like just we did some crucible. Okay, so yeah. since we use the superior six there. Is... Why is it it's in my queue, it says. Oh, wait a minute. This is the one where I got all cranky. Access. This is the one where I was all pissy. Man, I was pissy in both of them. I'm just gonna put this one up and I'm gonna give it the heading still pissy. I'll probably post it today too. <clears throat> yeah, that's what we're gonna do. That's that's gonna be the name of this one. Still pissy. Now, this is stream recycle, but this was recorded on the twenty second, and I need to put it in the correct folder. This. All right, that's now rendering, and we can go play Marvel Strike Force. As pissy as a golden shower. <laughs> Fuck it, I'll do it. <laughs> no, I can't. I bet. I bet I'm gonna get flagged for golden shower. I think I'm just gonna write uh, still cranky because uh, because I just gotta get these things out there. I don't care if you two will at that. <laughs> that
Dope flag pissy. Yeah, I'm gonna say just still cranky. Uh, make sure I click on the right on the correct Marvel Strike Force. Don't want to be sharing the the test server because now the test server is actually working, or at least they're saying it is. I didn't check. Okay, music. Let's go music and let's do this. Click on the test server. Why not? Yeah. So what's happened? It's Friday. Uh, I know there's diamonds, diamonds on APOC and and uh, reds on sus. Can I go to the store now and, and look at them? Oh, you, you saw that too, Stocky, did you? Yeah. That boy's gonna get himself in trouble. 9,600 for a three diamond APOC, 21,000 sus red starting at the, tw oh, on the 28th. Man, everything starts later. Couldn't even watch the new X-Men animated series because that starts next month. I got all excited when the 20th rolled around. Classic Bendy. Always breaking NDA. Hey, he's taking some of the heat off of me. I'm okay with it. <clears throat> oh. Black Knight free to play starts on 26th and so does Satellite. Thank you. On the 26th, okay. So 26th and the 28th are gonna be good days. <laughs> Swear to God, I've already clicked on these today. Let's go to the arena to start things off and see it down to 11. Oh man. Satellite has a leaderboard now. Oh great. <laughs> um, yeah, let's try this one. This one should be fine. What, what am I doing? No, I wasn't liking this. It wasn't as fun. For... This wasn't as fun either. Let's do. Black Cat and Quicksilver were doing pretty good for me. I'll try that. What's up, Casey? You want me? Yeah, you couldn't put leaderboard on kiln. Everybody freaking beat it. The leaderboard would say had sus, didn't have sus. There'd be two places. Uh, she ain't, oh, she does not have, she does not have death proof, so I can rewind her. Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and do this. We're gonna go ahead and do the special, screw it. We'll rewind that black cat a little bit, see how that does things. <clears throat> and then, this clears some charges, right? I doubt it'll clear the charges, but we'll give it a shot. Oh, we got the charges off of them. All right, that's excellent. Let's hit them again. Sure, why not? So much for that, Black Knight. Uh, we have to ability block her or she is going to cause me some problems. Okay. So far, so good. Get him, Black Knight. It's what I paid you money for. That's not gonna flip anything. We could put a disrupt here on her, though. Hopefully, chain it. Oh, we're gonna get one chain out of that. Oh, never mind. He didn't retaliate because there wasn't enough villains. Immune, immune. Well, we'll just kill a Void Knight, I guess. I guess I could have gone after Apocalypse just for the damage. Everyone with sus beat satellite, so it's the same. I guess I didn't have sus the last time satellite rolled around, so I don't know what that feels like. Are they gonna add a bunch of shit to it? Do we know? Did they did they tell everybody? Did they tell people what they're gonna do to satellite if they're gonna do anything? I don't really know. Blow them up, scroll. Yeah. 
I didn't bring my own super scroll to this fight. Oh, no, I did bring super scroll to this fight. They didn't bring their super scroll. Okay. Uh, he's got fortifier. Let's go hit her. And hit her again, I guess. We know, but the public doesn't. Okay. Well, you know, but the public doesn't. I'll have to read through and find that. So I have 9,720 dark diamonds. I'm thinking they should all go on APOC. That sounds like a fantastic idea, gnomes. How many do I have? I want to put all mine on APOC as well. My gut is telling me that they make the last level unbeatable without Black Knight. Where, uh, they're here. I have 10,000 dark diamonds. I'm gonna get a three diamond APOC. That's fantastic, I'm glad I saved up. I'm not gonna have enough reds on my sus though, but that's all right. Anybody else I wanna spend on? Doesn't look like it. Oh, three diamond Chavez. That needs to happen right away, doesn't it? That doesn't suck at all. Oh, Nobu, I hope you are my last. Nobu, I hope you are my last. S6 is farmable next month. No, I have most of the superior six kind of built up, I thought. Quake, yeah, we gotta get that on Quake. Can't beat floor 40 without Mephisto. I just can't wait for the fisting jokes. When he comes into game, you know there's gonna be a whole slew of fisting jokes. And I'm, I'm pretty sure 20% of them are gonna have purple Sticky's face on them. And I can't wait, man. The Iron Fist jokes were fantastic. We get a whole new lineup of fist jokes. I can't wait, it's gonna be fantastic. Oh wow, look at that, I'm missing stars all over the place. Get my fisted, Commander! <laughs> and now Sticky will have nipples. <laughs> it's disturbing and hilarious. Busted back, subscribe to tier one. Nine months, thank you, Busted back. You're freaking amazing, appreciate that. Um, so we kind of determined that my Green Goblin's just gonna sit there until I gear tier 19 and I can go in and smash the first five nodes. Unless I decide to actually build up my uh, garbage Avenger, Avengers. Hey, hey, does this work yet? Ooh, look at that. It works. Did you see that? That was fantastic. I clicked on new Avenger and it filtered. That's amazing. How come nobody said anything about that? Wasn't that supposed to happen? How, how long has this been going on? Wasn't that supposed to happen? It's worked for three patches now. It's the first time I ever even heard anybody doing it. The DD7 in-game leaks before they got taken down. I saw Doolum post a picture of the screen for Dark Dimension 7. That seventh red on thing, huh? <clears throat> Honestly, I, I should. I, I might as well. I'm farming these two knuckleheads now. All three of them, in fact. I'm farming them. I want to see if I can still pass with them being mostly level 75 and and get through and get through the the difficulty eight. Your cosmic crucible picks a thing. Yeah. Are you anxious to get to defense up recording? Is that what you're telling me? Shut up and rate my rooms rate. Rate with a T on the end of that. I don't know what you heard. I'm not that mean of a person. Oh, and Karnak Part 2 is coming on the 26th. Oh, Starbrand. <laughs> yeah. 
Uh, did you guys see? I think uh, Juicy posted this someplace. Where was it? Um, Juicy post this. Where? Here it is. This one. I thought this was funny. This is what Juicy posted. <clears throat> I thought that was appropriate. I meant the constant zero. I actually didn't know how rate was spelled. I thought it was R A I T. My point was it was a T and not a P. The Lord of the Rings game shut down. I thought that was old news. I thought we had a I thought they did their their sunset message like a month ago. So I was kind of surprised to see Mobile doing that. I'm just assuming that like 99% of you guys are coming over from mobile stream. I know he's not streaming now. I mean, I, I, I'm just assuming because I saw a lot of your guys' names in his chat. <clears throat> if Gigabytes was here, we would be having an aneurysm right now. He would be. Star brand literally minimum for for event if you care. If not, bench until legendary unlock and minimum for what you need. It shut down before the game went live in my book. <laughs> yeah, the PS1 graphics. 32-bit graphics. I think I need to do raids. <clears throat> He is here. <laughs> I was not in Boomer stream. Boomer reading time with Friday's blog is about the worst stream of the week for me. Uh oh. <clears throat> yeah, I the Friday the Friday Boomer stream is usually something I catch on video. I I usually don't show up for the Friday stream, but my my schedule today was really weird. I didn't go to work today. Instead, I went to to the DMV and to get my cars inspected and uh, insurance and all sorts of weird stuff I was doing today. I, I had to skip stream. So everything's all out of, all, everything's discombobulated for me today. <clears throat> Take Starnak to G15 and leave him there. They're gonna do something for the, 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 you know, the team unlocks the legendary and we're all gonna want the legendary and then they're gonna put something in the, in the level, in the nodes. There's gonna be something that Starbrand needs to deal with and we're gonna have to have a big enough Starbrand to survive or something. Or it'll just be like fat AOEs and it'll be like two nodes require it and so you can't let him die on the first one or you won't be able to get into the second one and it's just gonna be like a really painful first node. And so everybody's gonna have to have a uh, Starnak at like a minimum of like gear tier 17 to survive the A and you need five tunes, 100%. Just like the Gobby trials, man. Really don't like one prescribed team for the Gobby trials. I think that's hot trash. Why do I have a red dot here? Oh, other people are actually talking in the chat. Okay, never mind. That's all correct then. That's all I had asked that. Who is Doom Supreme? Leader of Multiversal Masters of Evil is Doom Supreme? I didn't know that was a thing. We're back, YouTube. We had to clip something out of that. I hope you uh, enjoyed that brief break. Try not to break too many NDAs today. <laughs> yeah, just like with my Rello joke. Yeah, he is in the splash art. You know, I'm going to stop talking about him so I don't have to edit something else out. <clears throat> okay. Um, I'm, I'm going to go into the voice chat now and talk about anything other than that. And, um, and we're going to go do a, a defense up recording if anybody wants to join me. And go over... Who's, who's are we doing today? Who's are we doing today? Let's go. Hey, 
<laughs> Hello. <laughs> we're doing worst Charizard. That's who we're gonna do today. What's up, Doolum? Oh, what up? I'm just here to call you an idiot. Yeah, that shit happens, oh. man. I swear to God, that was openly talked about. <clears throat> now. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> this one. CM Baka exclusive Thanos skin reveal. Oh, good lord. Good lord. Jesus, guys. I gotta stop clicking on those links. <laughs> That's a palate cleanser for sure. That made me forget what we were talking about. <clears throat> Worst Charizard, if you happen to be in chat right now, you're welcome to come find us in the uh, the voice channel, and we will drag you into the content creators channel, and you can defend your decisions. Leaving now. <laughs> oh man. Who do we got in voice chat right now? I didn't even. I didn't. I, I'm not on that page, so I can't see. Is it just me and Doolum still? He may be busy Charizarding in the worst way. <laughs> I, so, so worst Charizard uh, came to me after that whole Charizarding incident on stream. And I just, I thought the name was so amazing. I didn't know if he had made that for me or if it was just a coincidence, but I thought that was fantastic. Let's get rid of this and this. And is this done uh, uploading? It says it's checking. Can I can I cancel out of this if it's checking? I can. That's good. Yes, you can. I never know at what point. Luckily, yeah. YouTube it, gives you a little message like, "Are you sure you want to you. leave in the middle of an yeah. upload?" <laughs> it won't let you. It'll it'll pull a little error message up, and then you have to click like cancel upload and leave. Oh yeah, I know. I see that like every time I upload something because I'm yeah. I'm so forgetful. Yeah, I hate when people talk to you when I don't want to be talked to. Like, I'm going home. Fuck off. <laughs> me. Sorry, I, did sorry. you did you not see the work ended five minutes ago? That means my <laughs> my my necessity to speak to you has ended. I'm leaving, yeah, ma'am. I'm not getting paid to speak to you. Go away. Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's do this here. Should we increase them? Mm, I almost like it smaller. I kind of like it smaller. Plus, my shoulder keeps getting in the way. Never heard that one before. Why is Doolum so much louder than me? Um, Doolum, can you count to five for me? One, two, three, four, five. Thank you. There, that that uh, works much better. Sorry, guys, I don't know why his volume got brought up so much. I kind of like it when they're loud in my ear, but I don't want them. Nobody gets to, to outpace me. That's why I put audio ducking over these guys, because I want to be able to step on them when I talk. I got to go spend family time. I hope the rest of your stream goes well. I'll pop in for smoke breaks. DM me if you divulge any more company secrets. Yes, yeah, zero. I'll be sure to do that. Thanks, buddy. Have a good one. <clears throat> okay. I swear to God, we we. I swear to God, I read that someplace in an open forum. Whatever. I don't think that's like the biggest thing in the. I don't think that's huge. I don't. I don't think that's a thing that anybody's gonna get upset about. So. No, nah, not really. <clears throat> I mean, if anything. It's gonna drive sales for them. They should probably be thanking me. Did we talk about that on on one of your streams? That somebody said he was affiliated with Gamma because he was in the Edward Norton uh, Hulk movie. Maybe that was it. I mean, I remember that, that conversation, but I remember something else besides. Uh, you know what it probably was? It was probably an envoy asking them in the server, and we never got a reply back to it. And I'm just extrapolating. <laughs> the only the only thing I saw was about like their gear. That was it. Yeah, Which obviously isn't known. Just want to throw that little caveat in there. Don't don't say that. Yeah, yeah, that's <laughs> unknown. <clears throat> Was it just me that expected him to miss a number? Uh, did I miss a number? Probably. Two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, so. We got Extreme Rogue in one, which I'm a fan of. Uh, then we have the Loki variant in two, 
superior six in three. This is a straight five piece superior six, putting all the power there, not trying. Is the event over where we have to use them on offense? Or Yes. Okay, well, so the event's still going on, but it ends before the next round of college recruitment. Okay, so all right, so this is so put your superior six on defense, guys. And number four is gonna be the out of time sus uh Thanos. This is a great version. We talked about this before. Um, what are your thoughts, Doolam, on on Captain Carter in on this team as she she increases the block chance, but she only revives Captain America? Like, where do you do you think she's got value to be in here? Uh, I mean, she's got a twenty percent rebalance heal on her special, twenty percent of her max health. So if she's big, she's gonna rebalance the health on Black Knight and Cap. Um, yeah, that could add some uh, add some distance on the team. That's not bad. I feel like she she has a use because she takes nothing away from your offense, and she's just a good person to put in here. Like you're never going to use Peggy on offense, so why not right. put her in here? Right. And other than a plug and play tune that you're probably going to use on offense, what better person can you put in here? Right. I think. I mean, if you're going to be running Super Scroll with Black Knight, and that's a good idea to do, I think. Uh, Juicy talked about that too. Running Black Knight with Super Scroll is, is a is a good idea. And if you're gonna have Super Scroll in, Thanos is a great pick if you have him built for the energy feeding to him. And then it's like, who do you use as a fifth? Like Omega Red? Like, so I mean, you need- not getting the villain boost right now either though. So that's also kind of an issue. Right, so, so Omega Red might actually be a better choice because he's gonna get two villains. So that's the biggest problem is the two villains, two heroes. Yep. So, like um- over Peggy, Dorm is pretty decent. Dormammu, yeah. The the problem I have with this already is in three he's got superior six, and then in four he's got Black Knight and Sus. Like this man's losing a lot of offense in just rooms three and four. Like not having superior six on offense and not having Sus and not having Black Knight seems like a lot. I feel like it should be right. Sus and Black Knight See, are on offense and superior six is on defense or flip flop. And and I'm trying something different on my defense. I'm I'm using I'm using uh, um I'll just show it off. I, I'm using a different kind of defense over here altogether. So I'm saving sus for offense, but I am using uh, Black Knight for defense. And where I'm at, my Black Knight is actually big enough. This this Gamma Cap uh, Black Knight. It's it's been winning me my crucibles. This is what ha, what people have been losing to in six, and it's an unusual thing to find in six. And then I have this extreme uh, Captain America, uh, yeah, Captain Sam, and then I'm running this weird rogue thing. None of these are stopping anybody. Nope. None of these are stopping anybody, but they come up to this at the end and they just fail miserably on it. You don't have the luxury to try to stop someone. You need to spread them thin. Unless you're a Kraken, you're not stopping anybody. You're spreading people thin. That's the well, goal. here's the thing, because my, I'm thinking about putting my superior six on defense, and I don't know if I should be removing my infinity watch or if I should slide infinity watch down to six and move this someplace, like move my teams around all together and keep infinity watch in here and get rid of somebody else like... I don't even I don't even know who I would get rid of. <clears throat> I would keep Infinity Watch in there because no matter what, they're gonna be an efficiency sink unless somebody throws APOC in there and then just take gamma off defense and put BK in cap with somebody else. I think if you're trying to win, <laughs> offense heavy is the way to go right now. And that gutting yourself on offense in the long term only hurts you. Then maybe I'll just keep uh, superior six on offense then. They're so I useful for me. Would. Uh, this superior six beats everything in almost every room. Right. Like that's that's and and then it's the same thing with super scroll with two good heroes and two good villains. They beat almost everything in every single room. And so I have I have new warriors, masters of evil, superior six, and I have super scroll with two heroes, two villains. And then it's just a matter of where am I going to use my eternals? Where am I going to use undying? Where am I going to use tangled? Uh, something like that. Um, I, I, I like my defense the way it is right now. I, I think I might actually just leave superior six on offense and, and do like you guys are saying. I'm not excited with some of these first teams. Like one, two, and three is a snooze for me. All right, I'm out of here. Later, y'all. Later. What I did, if you want to talk about 
what I'm doing and why. I ended up finally pulling secret defenders to offense. I was running a noir comp, just like you are, to trip up new warriors. Mm -hmm. But I have enough teams that can drag new warriors, so I just put X-Men back in one. And then between that, like I put Pegasus in four because it's not going to stop someone. However, it... I think the best attack I've seen against it that didn't use Hive Mind Scroll was an 8341. Like the efficiency against Pegasus in room four is horrible. Mm -hmm. Unless they bring a completely overkill team. I mean, couldn't they just be using some sort of Eternals against your your Pegasus Eternals in four? In room four don't ult turn one. Oh, that's right. That's are right. The teams that are 8340. <clears throat> You're like right. I had someone get an 8341 using Tangled Web, Omega Red, and Eternals. Mm. And it took them 36 turns to get through it, and they lost someone. Brutal. All right, so I got to get this done. I, I, I like... Secret Defender on offense because the more out of time we get, it's only going to get harder. Right, right. I think uh, I, I like the extreme rogue variant in one i'm a fan of it i'm not currently running it obviously but this is a this is a tricky one it it, it kind of messes you up every once in a while it's built big enough they're not going to easily get through forge right away they've got the the cyclops in there to give turn meter <clears throat> um i mean you don't really want to invest any more in rogue but she's she's doing work here so i think i think this is pretty good i don't really want to tear charizarding apart because I think he's just going for a heavy, more of a turtle defense. This is boring, but it's what everybody's doing. This is, of course, a, a ridiculously tough defense. And what are they going to need to beat a superior six and three? This. Is this going to be super, super scroll and and two two uh, two villains, two heroes? So, first and foremost, Rogue is still a good character to invest in. Oh, you, you think Rogue is still a good character to invest in? I took her to two diamonds. Like wow. Makes that team kind of a pain in the ass. I mean, uh, yeah, especially as a skirmisher in that 200% damage, she's going to be blowing it up right here. I just don't know if investing in a character for one season of Crucible is the way to go. I'm not saying she's trash, Yuletide Bringer. I'm just saying uh, I, I just don't know if that's worth putting red stars so on her. Because of Extreme <clears throat> X-Men and specifically gambit and rogues interaction with the team she's gonna have long term use with extreme even if they fall off defense there's still gonna be teams you can use them on offense because they are super fast so there will be likely a case for rogue for quite some time was she falling off before nightcrawler yes but i think nightcrawler gave her a bit of life we weren't expecting okay um as far as uh superior six you can do apoc doom or a scroll team you have a couple options apoc doom or a scroll team okay oh my god i'm getting these these voting texts it's voting season they just keep getting these texts i hate it Feels like she still has six to 12 months in her, but I could be wrong. I think we're going to be seeing her in Crucible for at, for at least a year. I, I, I think so. I just don't know if if in this in this area where we have characters coming out and the resource crunch is so tight and we have gear tier 19 around the corner and DD7 is coming up and everybody's going to be screaming fist that guy, then um, I, I don't think that we should be wasting resources on Rogue. We just learned about... Uh, sus and, and APOC with diamonds and red stars, right? Do we want to be putting them on Rogue? Because Rogue's dark promotion credits. That's all I'm saying. I, I'm not saying she's trash. I just think that she may not be making the list as far as where the important things are still going. Uh, 19's a new color. It's going to be red. So this is a good defense. It's a lot. It's a lot. And so we'll talk about it being a turtle defense. And then we have this. So <clears throat> I do like if he's going for the turtle defense and he's putting Black Knight and Super Scroll on defense, then 
I think we need to switch up the composition to get two and two, right? Like that's just too much power to miss out on not having the two villains with, with Super Scroll. I think if you run this team, weirdly, there could be a case to put If you want a budget option to still have options on offense for a villain and he's decently sized, you could run Ebony Maw. Because when he gets to his ult, it's another rewind mm -hmm. and a speed boost to your team. But um, running Ebony Maw, doesn't that empower Thanos and you no longer get the energy generation, right? Yeah, now it does, huh? Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, I like that idea before that change to the kit. Now it's like, you know, you'd run, uh, you'd run, what's her face, the chick with the spear that gives him speed up. But again, it, it changes him so he's not generating energy. That's the whole point of putting Thanos in on this, right? Yeah, CLB Cap gives energy too, but so Thanos will give energy to Cosmic adjacent when somebody dies. Proxima, thank you, Kevin. As Scroll gets kills, he's generating energy anyways and you're already getting a lot of energy out of Captain America. So what's the point of having Thanos here? I know, like if you're getting a kill... Like you either make Thanos his useful form or you put in a different villain. I, I, so I think you're right. I, I think the energy is pointless. Or you run the two-piece and take advantage of the buff flip off Thanos and the rewinds that him and Ebony Maw bring to the team. Because yeah, the I, flip doesn't just affect Black Order anymore. It flips all negatives on all allies. Oh, okay. See, I think that's that's going to be the way to go. Then you can get rid of Peggy. You can put in Proximum Midnight to speed up Thanos. And I, I think... think you, do you still like Ebony instead? There could be a point for either. Thanos Maw is much more useful now. So, I mean, Jumpy, the problem is that if you're playing that route, right, if they one-shot you and you are forced to do a sack or a bad burn, you lose. I mean, that's kind of how the Turtles are playing right now, is they're trying to force you to drop more attacks than they drop on you. Right. And against some Turtle defenses, that can be really hard not to drop attacks. So... I'm I mean, with willfully doing one doesn't help you with so much stuff on defense already. Uh, <clears throat> you know, you've got like. You're using powerhouses to get through one and three efficiently. It doesn't leave you a whole lot to go into this. I don't think. Yeah, I understand that them trying to keep it from being sacked. Because as if I went into this, I'd be like, okay, this person doesn't have a whole lot on offense. I can afford to sack a room. And this would be the one you'd want to sack to make it easy, I guess. But with Thanos in here, it ruins that <clears throat> option. So, I mean, room four ruins that option anyways if you're doing something like the tag sack. Like, the sack that works against us in this room still works if Thanos is here because the point of the sack is to pause before anyone dies right it'd be like bring in big rebirth eat sus special pause match mm -hmm. it's not like the goal is right like the minerva sack because that doesn't work with the room rolls anyways because if he kills even just two characters he already comes back in with his special to begin with like arguing about trying to force a sack or prevent a sack is redundant to the room roll. Yeah, and and I think that like if you're going for a straight a straight one shot and and like if your opponent is trying to one shot this room and you're hoping to still generate energy off of Thanos for some reason, if you're getting kills on your opponent at any time, then you're probably winning the matchup anyways. Like I think that the energy generation from Thanos trying to one-shot this room is—it doesn't matter. It doesn't come into into play. 
So I think the best course of action is we draw Peggy and we add in another villain of some sort. And I like Ebony Ma in here. I, I still like, uh, what's her face, Proxima, just to speed up the Thanos and get him to take his turns faster, but I'm not sure that's gonna be that important. The benefit to running Maw is that, let's say they do come in here with a bad sack <clears throat> that for whatever reason they sustain enough that Sus doesn't have his abilities. If Maw and Thanos both do, they both come in with their ult on their turns. Yeah. Which is extra rewind for Super Scroll. Why is Yuletide Bringer, why is dropping Peggy putting Cap out of place then? I mean, uh, do you mean placement like he needs to be moved to the other side? If that's the case, yes. Um, I, so I've been running this one with Cap and Black Knight on, oops, you guys can't see that. With Cap and, and, and Black Knight on either side, and this one's been getting me some defensive victories. And so I think Cap without Peggy is fine. Um, I mean, that's altogether different because, you know, there's no sus in there. Yeah, you still get the cleanse from Peggy, but you don't get the revive and you don't get the buffs, so you don't get a whole lot out of Peggy outside of war. Yeah, it's the, it's the, the block chance and the heal that you're members. getting from her. Thanos special puts taunt on a cosmic villain ally, which when you think about it, isn't all that bad if they try to one shot it because you can pull their attention away from stopping Black Knight to putting taunt on Super Scroll, who still isn't the easiest character to kill, mm -hmm. who drops below 50% and puts himself in stealth and clears the taunt anyways. Like you have a lot of taunt bouncing if you run cap, Black Knight, Scroll, to Black Order. Yeah, and I just, I, I think you're losing so much by not having two and two with scroll that it's it's definitely worth the heals. It's definitely worth yeah. the 20% block chance from Peggy. She's only reviving Captain America if he dies. She's not reviving out of time, people. So I say we drop she Peggy. revive <clears throat> Captain America out of war. He doesn't revive anybody out of war? I'm pretty sure. Captain America's rebirth. I think she still revives rebirth outside Does of war. still do rebirth outside <clears throat> of war? I think so. I don't know. Regardless, Captain America is probably going to be one of the last people standing on this because he can do it all day. I think we drop her. We put in uh, Ebony Ma. I'm like, you guys are convincing me to go with Ebony Ma. Theory on how to beat the team. How would you beat it? For me, okay, if, if Ebony Ma was in here... Mm, that makes it tough, doesn't it? Uh, makes it tough to bring in Superior Six with the scroll in there. I I would I would end up treating it like an arena matchup, and unfortunately my Black Knight is on defense. But if you had Black Knight on offense, you could come in with a Black Knight, and and your Void Knight. <clears throat> I mean, you'd have to throw a lot at it to be really efficient, but I guess I'd, I'd do the sus hive mind in there and then I'd have to run a cleanup team is what would end up happening, I'm sure. I think hive mind sus would do well against it up until that black knight is much larger. Yes, and then you get smashed. Big, yep. Super scroll probably struggles because this team spawns with a ton of positives between cap giving everyone two deflect Thanos spawning with whatever buff from whatever members of the Black Order spawn in with him, mm -hmm. and Ebony gives three. Sus gaining his buffs make your sus go even faster, and you aren't targeting their sus out the gate. Yeah, a 200, I agree with you, Stocky. The 200k Black Knight isn't scary. I do think that my sus high mind team <clears throat> would do well against the Ebony Maw version. It'd do well against this version, too. But I've had problems with it. I've had to come back in and clean up. But by that time, I've usually killed most of the important, you know, I'll, I'll have killed Sus and I'll have killed Black Knight. And then it's just like, I got to go in and clean up a cap who didn't die off or something. Um, but that's probably the way to go. The Superior Six isn't going to beat this. 
Not with not with the sus being in there feeding off all those positive effects. So that's the way to go. Your your void knight still is able to alt. <clears throat> but that means that you're kind of you kind of have to come into it. I mean, you could can't you do apoc hive mind also? I will point one problem with hive mind sus on this team is you don't spawn with a taunt. So when you bring that team, you are rolling a dice on who their super scroll targets because if their super scroll because he will go first ability blocks your void knight what why would their super scroll go first if you're not bringing in red goblin i'm pretty sure if you don't bring in your sus goes it's gonna make their them go and he'll go before your void knight that's my point sorry oh before void knight yeah yeah he'll go yeah. before void knight sure he'll go before void knight and then if he ability blocks Void Knight, you can lose that match very quickly. Yeah, that happens to me in Arena every once in a while because I really like to use my Void Knight. Uh, you could use an APOC Hive Mind, couldn't you? But then if you use Apocalypse Hive Mind, you wouldn't be able to Apocalypse MOE this and you'd have to just kind of cross your fingers and... I mean, you can do Extreme with Sus very easily. Like, oh. that's not a problem. Okay. But the problem with bringing APOC is you don't get the ult turn one in room four. So yeah. unless you can start dropping people below 30 to get hive mind going, yeah. super scroll may just catch up to you. And there's no point in bringing Doom into this room either. Same thing with room four, he's never gonna pop off. So, okay, yeah, it's probably gonna be super scroll hive mind to beat this. And if your opponent doesn't have super scroll, like, like if your opponent doesn't have super scroll on offense, it could get really ugly really fast. So, okay, so we're gonna drop Peggy and put in Ebony Maw. I think we spent enough time on this one. Welcome to why I keep my scroll on offense. <clears throat> because this is a great budget option in this room. <laughs> yeah, here's Infinity Watch, and it's it's what it is. I don't think Infinity Watch is getting a lot of value in this room. I like Infinity Watch in, in other rooms, but what are they having three? They have three here, yeah. You think they should drop this and put in a Pegasus instead? If you're gonna run Pegasus on defense, the only room it works in is four because Eternals don't ult oh, turn one. Oh, because of the four, okay. And okay. four just makes it an absolutely monster efficiency sink. So okay. I didn't mean scroll a budget option, I meant full Pegasus in four. Like yeah. if you want a budget <clears throat> defense for four to run scroll on offense, Pegasus and four doesn't suck. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what do you think about the SD and six? I mean, we're obviously going for full turtle defense here. They're they're pulling out all the stops. Uh, I don't mind this, but I think we keep Quicksilver for offense and we use the five piece secret defenders to get that taunt off faster. I, I, I think that's more value there is the way to go. I don't think that Quicksilver changes this matchup enough. I think I think we 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 take him off for offense. Noir does better than than Quicksilver because he can take the evades off of new off the new warriors. warriors. That's a good one. Like yeah. Wrong person, they immediately lose. No. The point good point. Make is that Black Cat loses all her death proofs the second she takes her first turn because of this room. You're better off switching five and six. Put Infinity Watch here because they don't lose their buffs. Ooh, actually, Infinity Watch does lose their buffs. After their first turn, the safeguard drops off, and then the room rules take effect, so they lose their buffs too. Right, it's just not. Yeah, it, it, it works. The game. It's, it, and it doesn't hurt them as bad. <clears throat> right, say. okay, so they, they at least get to take their first turn with the stuff that they spawned in on. Windstorm, subscribe for <clears throat> 19 months. Here, let's get that one playing here. Windstorm, subscribe for 19 months. You're freaking awesome, Windstorm. Thank you for that. They don't work on the defense up screen, so I gotta switch screens just so it'll play. All right, I think you're right. I think you're 100% right. I think uh, we switch this. Do you think in room five, if we move this to room five, you still want Noir here, not just a five piece? Yeah, treat it as a blank room. Okay. Quicksilver doesn't stop New Warriors from beating the team. Right. He doesn't even really make it that much scarier, in my opinion. I think he's this team is going to fall to the same counter with or without Quicksilver. I think you're right. Noir putting in that 16% chance of failure, which is usually a 25% chance for me, 
is a lot scarier running your new warriors into this than the Quicksilver. Yeah, I think the better option for Quicksilver this season is either A, put him with a B-tier team to make people treat it like an A-tier team, you know, something like New Avengers or Black Order, mm -hmm. or put him on offense. You could put him in with Infinity Watch. I hear people are doing that, and it makes it a little bit more scary. But I like him for offense. I I'm with you. I like him for offense. <clears throat> All right, let's go through this one more time. Extreme X-Men with Rogue in one. And we're going to mention that Rogue still has a little bit more value than I initially thought. People are liking her, especially in this room. So maybe put those red stars on her because she's crushing it. Then we're. this is a thing you can do. I think it's boring, but it's here. Uh, it's what everybody is. It's a blank room. It's the filler thing. We have Superior 6 because we're going full turtle. Do we like the ISOs in here? Let me see. Raider, Striker, Raider, Healer, and Striker on Lizard. Um, do we like Striker on Lizard? What's he doing on his basic counter assist? I, I think I, much. I think I have him as a Raider. Better. Oh, Skirmisher? Skirmer to, to make sure he strips he, it? Yeah. And applies the negatives on his special if it's a support or spider burst. Okay, so we'll change that ISO. The rest of them are okay. It might be worth mentioning on Darkhold that they aren't bad at dealing with Infinity Watch if you want to spread your roster a bit because so, it can <clears throat> let you put in what's perhaps a team that isn't so efficiently beaten because i mean everyone what, has what would you replace this. darkhold with then i mean fuck put gamma here with cap at least it has a chance of screwing someone well i guess if you have cap in four you just yeah. run the full gamma but at least it forces them to use new warriors over here or make them think about where to use new warriors rather than just or use it or use the pegasus on them i guess right they could run pegasus against you but i mean the, yeah you're so so that's an option if we wanted to swap this out with gamma okay i'll mention that and then over here we have the superior six we need the iso change on lizard over here we want to make sure that scroll has two and two we're going to drop peggy for oh uh ebony maw uh, we'll talk about that a little bit. That Black Knight needs some work. And then here we have Infinity Watch. It is what it is, but we would like to move this into room six because in room six we have this and Black Knight's going to lose her uh, her things. And we'll get rid of Quicksilver and replace it with Noir and move that room to five and just put the Infinity Watch in six. Does that sound pretty good? I think it sounds good. Yeah, I great. think so. All right. Bendable's not saying shit in here. He's just lurking. Bendable's just being a voyeur. <clears throat> just playing with new toys right now. Playing with new, are you on the test server right now? It's pretty on brand for Bendable, if we're being fair. Yeah, yeah. Um, my chair just fell. I don't like my chair in the shot, so I cover it with the green blanket. Leaking envoys stick together, that's right. <laughs> I don't know, Bendable, were you here when I broke NDA earlier? I think so. Okay, yeah. Oh well. Oh well, it happens, it happens. All right, I'm gonna jump out of the voice chat, guys. I'll come back, bye. Let's do this, you two will be right back. What's up, YouTube? We're back, and uh, a fame was just in, uh, uh, was just explaining. The Lone Grizzly asked, uh, "Move? Why not move Extreme to Room Three with all the evades? Uh, it seems it's impossible to deal with." But uh, a fame didn't like that. This is a fame's defense, by the way. He wanted Infinity Watch in Three and something better to take advantage of Room One. Did you want to explain that again, a fame? Sorry. So Superior Six still beats the Extreme X Men in Room Three because Green Goblin still deals with all the evades. Like, it's not hard for them to run over the team in three. If you put the team in one, they still have room for error with the offense that Gambit can dish out if you drop them too low. Okay, that makes sense. I like that. Uh, and then you did this uh, Gamma Cap in two. It's kind of just a thing that can happen, right? It's just, it's just a... But in... in but it's yeah, it's just there to maybe force new warriors. Does the new warriors, does the Captain America 
change up the new warrior matchup at all? Not particularly. It can make it a little bit more annoying if you don't deal with it the right way. Oh, okay. Oh, I had the Thames volume drop down. Thank you for that, Steven. I didn't realize that. It was it was loud enough in my ear, but then I had it altered with the other things. So, okay. All right, let's go take a look at room four, which is the Pegasus team. That's just, you're, you, you said this earlier, you're putting the Pegasus in here because Eternals don't function on this. And so you have to go with something else. And it gets a little scary when you don't have the Eternals to just rewind and blow stuff up. Well, if they bring <clears throat> Eternals here, it's, it can win. Like I've seen Tangled Eternals go here a bunch, but like the best score I've seen Tangled Eternals come in here with is 83-41, which yeah. zero turn bonus is not a good selling point for a counter. Uh, and then you have the new Avengers and Black Knight. I don't think Juicy likes this. I'm betting, I'm betting Juicy, you probably don't like this, right? Um, oh, you have, you have a uh, Quicksilver in here too, though. That's something, I guess. So explain to me what's going on. So the main point I have that team there is, again, if they use new warriors on two, they aren't using it here. If they use it here, they aren't using it on Gamma. So that forces them to make a series of choices that might not be the most comfortable. Mm -hmm. And it can certainly force them to have to choose a situation that might not be ideal for either team. Um, can New Warriors still beat it? Quite possibly. Mm -hmm. um, Gwenpool doesn't get the world's largest amount of focus, so she still has a chance to fail into larger Black Knights. And where's the GT? Where's the G18 ring on your Black Knight of Fame? What's going on, man? It's four arcane magic away. I'm working on it. <laughs> yeah, and CLB, there's a couple Lord of people Rickers in the game comment, that have uh, um, billions of billions. Does not beat the team. Not with Black Knight. Infinity Watch can also fail quite regularly. Between Black Knight and Quicksilver, it's not great. I don't know. Lord Richter's becoming a Black Knight master. He's got the only 7x7 seven seven in our arena shard, and it's kicking the shit out of me, I'll tell you that much. Uh, okay, and then over here you have, what is this hot trash you've got in six with Fall? What is going on here? It's just the Vol Hasgard comp, but I didn't want to take Nova off offense. I okay. didn't want to use Dorm here, so I put Sam here. Sam will still give them all that deflect on spawn. It's not meant to do anything like fantastic, but if everybody sees Pegasus in four and goes Eternals there, they aren't bringing Eternals into six, which then forces them to use something else. And it leaves room for error. Is there a reason to bring Dorm into six with this? Valk. I mean, yeah, it is, doesn't it make it a little more tricky with Dormammu in there with the, re, with it the does, revives? It does, but I have been using Dorm on offense every week. Oh, okay. Well, that's probably why. I, I don't use Dorm on offense that much. Like my entire goal is to make their life as hard as possible. Well, yeah, that's everybody's goal in Crucible. Um, I mean, I, I find this team both easy and annoying because every once in a while you slip up, you kill somebody, Val gives the 50% chance, it pops off, and you're like, God damn it. And it just ruins your score and ruins your day, right? Val could trigger I mean, twice with Dorm, that's true. The entire point of this defense is none of it is meant to be it's all one shottable, but there's difficult. also that that chance it can go wrong and just really piss you off. Yeah, and if you get stretched too thin, decide to use like Eternals in four, you can either use a worse counter in six or you can straight up fuck up somewhere because you don't have the right counter. Mm -hmm. It leaves a lot of room for error where they might not have room to make error. Well, thank you for showing your defenses, I think. I appreciate that. Uh, these are interesting. They're very different from what I've been doing, and actually, they're pretty different from uh, a lot of stuff that I've been seeing. Um, hey, I'm wondering, chat, have any of you guys been encountering the duplicate bug where somebody revives and they come back, two of them? Is that still happening? I don't know. I haven't heard anybody. Nobody sent me any more screenshots of that stuff.
Room five should be a pull a team out of your butt room. I just mindlessly put a scratch team together and got a couple of combat cancels. Really? In room five? It's just the robotic devil. I treat it like a blank room, obviously. I should probably change my placement, right? No, oh, that's right. I put Noir over here specifically. I put Noir over here for a reason. Why did I put Noir there? Because you want to eat the evades off new warriors. We literally just talked about this. Well, yeah, but I mean my placement. Why do I why do I have him here instead of adjacent to hard light? Who's going to be tall? Because he stays in stealth and it protects Robbie, who's the damage engine on the team. Maybe that was it. You don't yeah. really have to worry about protecting Black Cat. I mean, it's all about Noir's John's first move, squishy. right? It, Noir's either going to win you the battle or not on his first move, so it doesn't really well, matter. I mean, if they bring new warriors, yes. Yeah, if they bring new warriors, yeah. Okay. Well, there's that. Well, shit, what do you guys do on a Friday at night? I mean, what the heck? This is... I'm not used to this doing a late night stream. Ooh, there's a blitz. All right, baby, let's blitz. This is going to be fantastic. Put Doom, Quicksilver, Shuri, Darkhawk, and Rescue. Probably shortened my opponents. Okay, so so Doom, Quicksilver, Shuri to feed energy to random people. I don't know why Darkhawk and Rescue. Darkhawk doesn't do any turn meter rewind on his moves outside of raids, right? Rescue for the revive, obviously, but any of those tech characters are going to revive other than Quicksilver. Huh, I don't know. The same thing we do every night, Pinky. We're going to take over the world. It was pulled out of my butt. Yeah, sure. Well, if it got you a, a defensive victory, man, go, keep keep going for it. Oh, nothing like blitzing on a Friday night. Does anybody know, is there going to be happy hour tonight? And who's on cleaning agent stream tonight? Maybe because Darkhawk alts turn one for the room buff if someone is dead. Does he really do turn one all? Can he just, oh, okay. Well, that's a good reason to bring Darkhawk then. Unfortunately, Darkhawk is so slow. Isn't he like 117 speed or something? Remember when 117 used to be fast? She Hulk came out at 86, and I wanted to cry myself to sleep because I spent 50 bucks on it. You didn't get the notification, Daddy Works. You missed it all, man. You missed it all. Actually, I don't know. I, I got nothing to do. I'm going to stay streaming for a while. I just don't have much to do. I may have to play a different game or something. I feel like staying up tonight and hanging out with people and doing stuff. Interesting in room two, been stumping people. Undying Quicksilver Robbie. So Undying is putting out a shit ton of bleeds, Lord Richter, which makes Robbie go and go. And then of course Quicksilver is Quicksilver. You do need a large Suggs for that team. That's the only stipulation there, but it can do very well if you have a Zugs that's like 5'5 five, five or bigger. <laughs> have you tried Lord of the Rings Heroes? It's trending. <laughs> yeah, I bet. I bet it is. Oh, hold on. Do I still have the Lord of the Rings thing? Oh, I don't. Whoops, I closed my Marvel Strike Force. That was stupid. Lord Richter has big jugs. <clears throat> oh, let's... Did we get any more NDA stuff I can break? Oh, no way. Mm. But yeah, the entire point of what I'm doing is just I want to be offense heavy. If they use their teams where they choose to use it, so be it. Maybe it makes my life easier.
Official trailer. Marvel's Blood Hunt. Who <laughs> will bite it? God. Okay, looks cool. Looks looks kind of cool. I'll probably check that out. So so yeah, is the Invincible mobile RPG any good? Should we check it out? It's number two RPG game in the iOS App Store. Hmm. Raven the Wraith, that was just a, that was a, a Marvel's Blood Hunt official event trailer. I don't know. It's nothing to do with MSF. I mean, I don't know. It's, it's, people are wondering if that's why we're doing vampires. So, I don't know. I don't know anything, guys. You should know that by now. You know nothing, run snow. I know nothing, that's right. And that's that's gonna be what how I plead my case when they're like, you broke NDA again, and I'll be like, I don't I don't know. I just I don't know anything. Uh I think this one like what was it? I gotta click five. There was there was one of these around here that I had somebody to click on. I guess not. Oh well, who cares? Doesn't matter. Just get rid of that energy. New comic book series? Maybe that's it. I had to mute Bendy. Bendy's telling me all about the TV show he's watching over there. Watching the news or something. Invincible looks like a Dragon Air clone. Do they know they put seven red photon in two spots? Did they really? Is that something I need to report? Photon in two spots? What do you mean, photon in two spots? Elite supplies, premium, black cat, mega supplies, ultra supplies, and villains united. <laughs> Leak when red gear shows up? I don't know nothing about red gear other than it's red. Incursion camp? Hey, you know two things about red gear. It's red and it's 19. Okay, you know three things about red gear. Harder by the minute. It comes after teal gear. Let's farm some tiger. Red and expensive, no doubt.
Yeah, that's that's what I'm farming in Incursion is I'm just making sure I have all my characters up to seven red stars. So I look around for characters that I haven't got uh, seven red stars on. Although, now I've got so many gold promos now, I've just started buying the seventh red on anybody that's not a minion at this point. It's just, I'm tired of waiting. I've got more gold promos than I know what to do with, so I might as well. So in the other uh, news of current, like, Media World revamps, uh, Avatar fucking failed horribly. I didn't even know they were doing another Avatar. Avatar Steve Jackson is good. No, they did, like, a whole live-action series. Like, the first season came out. Are we talking, someone... are we talking, like, Airbender Avatar, or yeah. are we talking, like, Way of the Avatar Water the last Airbender. Blue People? Okay, Airbender Avatar? Yeah. Yeah, I, I didn't and hear about any of it. liking it to the movie and being like, well, at least the movie was only two hours long. Oh, yeah. It was a mercy. And I'm like, oh, my God. Well, let's do my raid. Fucking hostile. I don't know. I was I never got into the Avatar series. I didn't. It just never intrigued me anymore. It was kind of like. It was like Harry Potter to me. It was just everybody else is kind of into it. And I was like, eh, it doesn't do it for me. I I need That's what she said. I need movies that don't pull any punches. I need movies that uh, kind of they kind of kick ass. You know, I want I want John Wick with a good script. You know, I want I want something that's intense and well written. I, I want so and, and Dune Part Two does look interesting. In fact, Lord wow, Richter, we I just pulled out a whole shopping list of like the perfect movie over here. I just good luck finding it now. I just uh, I just watched Dune the first one. Uh, I rewatched it so I'd be ready for Dune Dune Part Two. I thought Dune One was pretty good. I just kind of I didn't like the way they ended it. Like it just kind of stopped. It didn't end. It just stopped. Us olds don't Batman. care about that stuff, yeah. What was that a thing? It's still an end. It's just not a good end. Yeah, it was. It I was. Mean, a... it, it, it feels out of place, so it doesn't feel bad. It just feels weird. Yeah. Because everything else about it was of a certain quality, so the ending just kind of felt. Right. It was. It was fairly epic place. all the way through, and then all of a sudden they're just like, okay, and coming in, I don't know, seven years, we'll finish this up, and that was kind of it. And you're like, what? <laughs> really? Like, it yeah, just started just like, getting hello? good. Like, they were about to start riding the worms. Show me some of that shit. No, <laughs> they're just gonna end it. <laughs> so what we're hearing is that you got edged by Dune. Yeah, that's yeah. I got edged by Dune exactly. I'm assuming subtitled foreign films aren't your bag, Run 7. You know what? I used to I used to watch a lot of martial arts films that were foreign. I used to. But then Netflix started just flooding me with them. And I just don't have time like I to watch a movie that's dubbed or subtitled, I have to have the time to watch it from start to finish. If I get part of the way into it and have to stop, I will never go back to it. It, it takes effort for me to read subtitles or ignore the fact that the words don't match up with their lips. Drives me nuts and it's really hard. Korean produced films have been really good lately. That's right, all 10 billion of them. I don't have that kind of time. Like I, my time, my schedule, my free time is so minuscule. The movie has to be freaking, um, like it has to come recommended to me by like several people before I'm gonna even bother watching it. Ted. Ted? No, Ted. Man, these phosphates. I keep running low on phosphates lately. I'm literally just choked for uniques. I'm doing okay on the uniques. I'm not. <laughs> I need more. I need a lot more. What's someone got to do to get more uniques like arcane magic? 
I'm actually doing all right on Arcane Magic. I mean, I don't have enough for all the characters I want to build, but I have enough for the next character. And that's where I'm just trying to stay at. I'm trying to keep 100 of every single thing. Most of the uniques when it comes to Steve that. Steve Rorix, that's a series I've never gotten into. And... I never got past the pilot episode when they spent five minutes of the pilot episode showing a horse get eaten by a horde of zombies. Like that was the biggest. You know what? The first the first season was very, very what slow. The they had shit. lots of those dramatic slow scenes of just of just weird, horrific sights. Uh, I mean, yeah, if I did... wanted to see something gross, I, I would fucking Google that type of shit. I had no interest in a series. Yeah. Yeah, you, you'd hate the whole the first season of that then. It, it got better. They, they moved away from that artistic touch that. and went to more dramatic things. But then the theme of, of The Walking Dead got repetitive to me. It was just, who's in power? How are we, you know, going to get through this same situation of tribes fighting against each other? And it kind of got boring, and, and I didn't like it so much. I am curious, are they bringing Rick back now? Is that what's happening, Rorix? Because I'd be curious to find out about that. But I, I mean, they brought in the Whisper people and I was just like, I'm done. This was so much better in the comics than it was in the in the in the TV show. Oh, it's the new Negan uh, one. That's where you got to find him. OK. Run, I sent some defenses for you for later. You sent some to me? No, I sent some defenses for you for later when you're testing. Oh, OK. It thanks. just got so weird, like I couldn't even make it past the pilot because they wasted so much time. And it's like, if this is what they're going to do trying to sell you the episode, I don't want to see what they're going to do later. Yeah, they, they did that a lot in the first season. They stepped away from it in the second and third season, and they started getting more into uh, character development. But they were really trying to set a horror tone in the first one. And the fans liked that in the beginning. And I think that the, the creators of the show really enjoyed getting all that gore and stuff on screen. But... Um, once you've set that tone, you don't need to keep doing it. And they do, they move away from it, but I don't think you're missing. Like, if, if you weren't into it when it first came out, then it's not worth going back, in my opinion. So, I mean, like, if you're going to set a horror tone, it has to feel more like Resident Evil kind of horror. You know, oh, I'm trying to explain this the right way. You're doing it a terrible job to... if you're bringing it up yeah. with Resident Evil. Don't get yeah, me wrong. I, I watched the whole series of uh, Resident Evil. It's a guilty pleasure for me, but um, not going to win any awards there. Yeah, no. My point more so being you actually should have to feel particularly afraid of the situation. And like using gore doesn't help set up horror very well. It doesn't make you feel... Yeah. Like, yikes, it just makes you go... I I think you, the, the, better, the better way to go is with fear, making people afraid of a thing. That, yeah, get, that like, because then you're like, I need to avoid this. Not, if that's oh, look what happened to that for. dead guy over there. Well, he's already dead. It's gross, and that looks like it sucked for him, but there's nothing more to it. It's just that's horrific. But if you're afraid of something, you're constantly trying to avoid this fear in the show. Um, one of one of the sh one, a movie that I recently watched that did such an amazing job of scaring the crap out of you and making you fearful was Nefarious. And so in the original Exorcist, there's a little girl. Her head spins around. She's throwing vomit everywhere, cursing up a storm. It's very graphic. And that's that was scary back then. In Nefarious, the guy is possessed by a demon, and what is scary is how malevolent and smart the demon is. And so they scare the shit out of you through dialogue and through storytelling, and that got really, like it gave me chills because this, the, and, and great acting too on the guy that plays the, uh, the, the possessed. And it didn't require any violence or gore or anything. It was just good writing a good script. So if you're looking for a scary one, check out Nefarious. It is a psychological mindfuck thriller. It's really scary. Yeah, like that, the way of doing horror justice 
is things more like that, not what a lot of American horror is, where it's just, you know, jump scares or gore. Yeah, Saw, where it's just... Certain well, point, I haven't seen the new like, Saw. Everybody says the new Saw is pretty good, but all the other Saws was just gore on top of gore on top of gore. And that yeah, wasn't it's not scary. It's just ew, and it's just like... Eh, all right. Whatever. Silo? Where, what's Silo on? Giga, what's Silo on? I heard Special Ops Lioness was good. I started watching like that, for, uh, and then I got interrupted in the first five minutes, and I never got back to it. I meant to go back to it. That's something I wanted to pick up, too. Lioness, you know? And Jack Reacher, that, that looked pretty good, too. That's something my father would watch is the Jack Reacher series. I'd probably sit and watch that with him. Well, gang, I don't have anything else to do on MSF, but I'm not done streaming yet, so let's play another game. Uh, screw it. I'll just sit here. We can talk movies while I kill zombies. That sounds fun. Let's try that. I wish Seven Days to Die wasn't so stagnant of a game. Like, the updates in the game are so few and far between, it feels really... It doesn't go anywhere. All right. I almost want to put this as just chatting. I almost want to put this as just chatting, not Black Ops. Now let's do that. There's that, and this should be playing somewhere, I think. <clears throat> Fancy schmancy Xbox. And turn off this music. This one. Just zombies. Just type in zombies. It's worth the watch and not what you would expect. Uh, are you talking See, about the Silo? It was a very similar, like, concept to Silo. And the 100 was really good for the first four seasons. And then it just, like, beginning of season five, it started getting, like, weird bad really quickly. Uh huh. But, but the first four seasons of the 100 were extremely solid material. I started watching the 100 a little bit. That was around the time they had a couple of different shows like the hundred at the time. I think the hundred was a YA series. Uh, I think I have to use my mouse to get this started. If I remember right. And it's a real pain in the ass. Let's go. All right, I'm going to bite. What do you mean? YA? A young adult series. Oh, duh. That's what Giga was saying is that the 100 was a YA series. What does that have to do with my point? No, what? Uh, let's back up. We want to go zombie. And we'll do solo. Tina. <clears throat> so for those of you who don't know, this is what I do to chill. This is when, when I get too stressed out and I need to relax. I turn this on and zone out to it and just kill zombies endlessly. The rule that I have for myself is that I am not allowed to use the quick revive machine because it could go on endlessly. Um, and I so I use the other four. what a YA genre film is about. That wasn't the point of the question. <laughs> didn't just didn't like, the 100, didn't that come out at the same, there was a bunch of people like The Returned or something. There was a few different shows that were similar to it at the same time, if I remember well, right. Well, well, looks like there ain't I no don't power. remember. Yeah. Does anybody know if Taco's gonna be uh, doing happy hour tonight? I'm kind of curious. I'll probably go hang out there if he's gonna be starting up. Got a chance, bone maggots. Are they upstairs? Seriously? Breaking them. Oh. Wow, I'm off to a great start. Holy cow. Oh my goodness, die. To the A, zombie. Normally this bad. I started out watching the 100, but couldn't do it. My uh, my manager was asking me. He's like, "Hey, uh, my my girlfriend's gonna have surgery. I'm gonna be home taking care of her for a week, and we need a couple of shows to binge." 
and I was like, well, let me get out my pencil. And I was just thinking of all these shows, like if you were gonna be stuck at home for a week, what shows would you wanna binge through? And I was kind of overwhelmed with choices. I was like, oh man, only a week? <laughs> and I realized I might be addicted to television. Might? Question mark? Yeah. They're gonna get you, run. They will not! Not until they at least make round 20, man. I gotta make round 20. Come on. Nice try. I watched the first few seasons with interest because Alicia from Fear of the Walking Dead is in it. Second half series, I just multitask watched, yeah. A lot of a lot of the time when I'm consuming YouTube videos or TV or anything, it's while I do other stuff. Like I don't have the time to just watch TV. Well, Giga, that's what I meant. Like the first four seasons were good and then the rest was just I think it was... it's not that the rest was bad. It's just when you have us like. I don't expect a series to make it more than three seasons. Like if, if you make a show that's good, I expect you to give me two more seasons and then I think you should just call it quits. You know, yeah, quit like while you're ahead. Four is the good number because after that, if you. They've usually off, run out of materials. They've lost writers. It just becomes it crap. It feels so awkward because the last half of the season gives a bad impression of how good everything else was. Right. Because like the first four seasons of the hundred were really good. The, the, and then it just kind of got weird. The worst is when they have a good show and they run out of funding and they have to do like a half season to wrap it up. And they just like, they end it weird, right? Uh, yeah. Anybody who watches the newsroom hates season three, the half season. Or I think there was that one, um, it, I think it was like Sense8 or something, and they, they did a rush season wrap up for the fans because the fans really liked it, but it kind of like ran out of funding and, and they stopped that one early. And I, I hate that. I would rather just leave it on a cliffhanger than do a shitty ending. How I, hate, how I uh, bet your mother had one of the worst final seasons of any show ever. I rewatch that whole series all the time just to put something on in the background to watch like something light and it always pisses me off when I get to the final season because it's just like a whole season's worth of episodes done in one day it just seems dumb I'm not I'm not a fan of that Motherland Fort Salem was a series that I thoroughly enjoyed it's three seasons but it was really good Motherland what? Fort Salem I've never heard of that it's a alternate history story set in America where witches became the basically the military for the United States following events at Salem yeah yeah I didn't like you're right Rorks I didn't like the last season of of Game of Thrones I thought that was pretty lame I mean, it went from like zero to a hundred on the madness arc really quickly. Like there was not right. a whole lot leading up to it, and it did Daenerys really dirty, which is awkward for a character that. Do you think they were maybe trying to set up set that it. House of Dragons show? Like trying to get into the whole Daenerys thing? I don't know. I never watched House of Dragons because I was so That's pissed off at the way. Not the way to do it. Like they had enough. With how good the majority of Game of Thrones w really was, they had enough fan base conviction in the series that they didn't have to do any like pre-selling for a prequel type yeah, thing. Yeah, Giga, do you not already have access? Hold on, can I pause the game? Oh wow, I can pause the game. Yeah, jump into the uh, voice lobby, I'll drag you in. Like, that's the part that made it weird is if that was the case, it wasn't really necessary. They could have de developed her as a character a lot better instead of just screwing her. Right. Bendable's still here. He's just muted his microphone. He's not going to jump in on this conversation. Bendable's. And now you get to wear a wig. Son of a. Elders. Oh, Giga's here too. Okay. 
Uh, I gotta, I gotta put on a wig now. Thanks, Elder. By the way, I, Elder, because of you, I removed most of my wigs. Uh, they're, they're now out of studio. I got a, I got two five wig racks that are mounted on the wall. So ten wigs mounted in the house now. That still didn't cover it. I still got a bunch. And then I got a bunch of hat racks from my wife and uh, to try and clear up some space in here and make it look nice. But Motherland Fort Salem has a very good story. That was like a the really development good is really good. Yeah, you know it. Yeah, I, Hell I really yeah. like that series. It kind of so, ended abruptly, but I liked it. It was really good three seasons. Like the story was on point, the acting was on point, the effects were amazing, and it yeah. wasn't even from like a big name studio. No, it just and w was really well made for what they had. Yeah, the level of horror and gore was just just right. It was pretty good. I mean, like the elements where they incorporated gore were points where the tension in the story needed it, but it didn't use it in such an excessive level that it butchered the story. Like, yeah, the gore was an effect; it wasn't a character in the series. Yeah, that's, that's a good, that's a good way to put it. With any series that employs uh, horror, is that they will. It's almost like gore is a, a god in the series. It's so extreme. Yeah. But in Motherland Fort Salem, it's not monolithic. It's a tool used to impress fear because of the things that happen in the story. Um, the story arc does deal with a lot of like... Witchcraft. Well, yeah. Motherland Fort Salem, it's kind of implied. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, Elder, the, the hairbrush so, like, hasn't arrived elements. yet, Elder. Like a lot of the story beats through the seasons are about the employment oh, of geez. terror. Reload already! Come on! Uh, the different groups you deal with through this uh, series. I got distracted. It was a warm up run. Yeah, Elder, the, the hairbrush wig hasn't arrived yet. I'm still waiting on that. Arrow's World, I'm just. We did everything in Marvel Strike Force. There's nothing else to do. I'm waiting for other things on Twitch to start up, and I'll probably go raid uh, Cleaning Agent when he goes live. Is, is he live yet? Is Cleaning Agent live? He is yet? live. Oh, well, we could go raid Cleaning Agent then. Now's probably a good time to do that. But Motherland Fort Salem, super well written. Probably one of my favorite series of all times. I'll have to check that out. What's it streaming I probably, on? Probably uh, Netflix. Is yeah. it really? Oh, okay. I'd say it probably goes. He's playing fucking Wordle. We're going. We're we're raiding out, guys. He's playing Wordle. We're gonna raid out. I think it goes third on my list behind early seasons of Game of Thrones and Avatar. Okay, it's pretty like, fucking amazing. If you, you like war? Hannibal is, I think, a gold standard for me for TV based horror. Hannibal wasn't bad either. YouTube, uh, we'll catch you later. I'm gonna I'm gonna drop this recording and we're gonna go raid somebody on this Friday night. So uh treat yourself well. Bye guys.